Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be doing a foundation review. Again, I love my foundations, you guys know this. And I'm actually really excited about this one. It is the Lancome UV Expert Mineral CC Cream SPF 50. Now my go-to foundation in the summertime is the IT Cosmetics, kind of that whole line, the CC Cream, the Bye Bye, the Illuminating one, because they put a heavy SPF in it. And in the summertime, I want to be SPF to the nine. So even my like lotion under my makeup has SPF, my primer, my foundation, I make sure my face is blocked. Okay, what it is, an all-in-one color corrector, tinted facial moisturizer, an SPF 50 sunscreen that provides transfer resistant, medium to full makeup coverage that lasts all day with 24 hour skin hydration and triple environment protection from external aggressors like free radicals, UVA, UVB rays, and pollution. Okay, made with 100% mineral filters, titanium dioxide, and antioxidant complex. That's This unique CC cream provides skin hydration while protecting and visibly correcting skin imperfections without adding any extra steps to your skincare or makeup routine. Easily blendable and quickly absorbed. The light, this light formula is buildable, breathable, revealing an even glowing complexion. The appearance of imperfections are visibly reduced, including pores, wrinkles, fine lines, pimples. To leave the skin feeling hydrated, clean, and protected, not greasy, sticky, shiny, or cakey, and no pilling. The long-lasting formula stands up to for active days, yet it is easy to remove. This has a lot of claims. I mean, literally, it's telling you what it does, and it's telling you what it doesn't do. And for it to like, for your most active days, so hydrating, but not gonna make you look totally oil and sweaty. It's gonna last forever. I'm actually really excited. There's only five colors. Also, it's $39 and you get one fluid ounce. All right, let's get into it. I do love that it's a squeezy tube. I still kind of like to shake up my squeezy tubes or sometimes kind of squish them around to make sure they're all, you know, shaken. All right, let's zoom you guys in. All right, I'm just gonna take a little squeeze on my hand and just dot it around the face. Like it's a, this is a really, and you know what? Actually, this seems like it is, has an olive undertone to it. Like it's not yellow. It's almost got that greenish olive undertone to it, which can be good because olive skin tones have a hard time finding foundations for them. I have high hopes for this. It feels really thick, which makes me think it is gonna be good coverage. So let's just go ahead. I'm using the Beauty Blender just cause this is what I normally use. It actually has medium coverage. Like you could totally build this medium to full. You could totally get full coverage out of this. The thing that's a little concerning is it is extremely, extremely dewy. Can you guys see how much shine is on my face right now? So it's extremely dewy, which doesn't usually allude to a long lasting foundation, but maybe if we just set it a little bit. So it blended out really, really nicely. I can tell it's definitely buildable, like you could definitely layer upon it because it's still quite tacky. I definitely don't think as of now it's probably not for people with oily skin because it's still really tacky, but it could just need a little bit of a longer dry down time. I'm going to take just a tiny bit more and just add it to kind of the areas that I'm red and just see how it builds. Yeah, it builds extremely nicely. Like you could definitely get full coverage out of this. I'm just a little concerned about how dewy it already is. So like throughout the day, if it's just gonna continue to get more and more and more luminous, it could be a problem. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give it time to kind of set, I'm gonna put my other makeup on, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about this foundation. All right, I am back. I have put on a full face of makeup, and here's what I'm gonna tell you. I have, I have, no, I have dry skin. 
Probably extremely. To me, it's extremely. Um, so I never actually set my foundation. I only set right here and under my eyes. I had to fully set this foundation. That's how dewy it was. And it was that tacky dewy where like if you touched it, it would come off. So this is definitely not a foundation for oily skin girls. I set my whole face with the Rimmel Stay Matte and it still is a little bit dewy after I set the whole face with that. I still like it. It still gave great coverage. Uh, makeup went really well on top of it. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> oh, also the color is great. Um, if you are neutral to olive skin, it will be really, really good for you. Um, all right, what were their claims? Let's see. Medium to full coverage, yes. Transfer resistant. I highly doubt that. Yeah, I already have some on fingers. So not transfer re resistant because it's very, very, very tacky. But if you set it with a really, really, really good powder and like fully set it, it could be, I guess. But <clears throat> like if I hugged a guy wearing a suit or a white shirt, it would definitely transfer. So I don't believe that. Provides hydration. Absolutely visibly correcting skin imperfections without adding extra steps. Yeah, because it is quite a full coverage, medium to full coverage, um, yeah, you're not like piling more on, so it does do that. Um, easily blendable, yes, quickly absorbed. Um, I mean, I don't really know. Do you really absorb foundation? I mean, you absorb a little bit, but I don't really want it absorbing all my foundation, then it would be gone. But sure, a little bit. Um, this light full formula is buildable, breathable, revealing an even glowing complexion, definitely with the glowing. The appearance of imperfections are visibly reduced. Sure. Fine lines? Uh, no. I mean, really, I don't like it when any foundation says they reduce fine lines because nothing can actually reduce lines in your skin. It can not settle into your skin, but not reduce. So, so far, there, I don't see any like major settling, but we'll be able to see that throughout the day. Leaves the skin feeling hydrated, clean, and protected. Sure, not greasy. No, it's definitely greasy. Um, sticky, it's definitely sticky. Shiny, it's definitely shiny. Um, or cakey, it's not cakey, and there has been no pilling. Long-lasting formula, formula for an active day. So, we're gonna do some check-ins. I actually am, after I film all these videos, gonna go with my husband to buy some more trees for our backyard and plant them and lay down some mulch. So I'm definitely gonna be being active with um, this foundation on, so we'll actually be able to test that out. It's definitely greasy. I don't think there are claims where it's not greasy and not sticky. That's a lie. Totally greasy, totally sticky. I kind of like it though, um, just cause I have dry skin. Let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see up close. All right, here it is up close. You can definitely see that it does have a nice shine to it. It's definitely um, a dewy foundation. The fact that I set the whole my whole face and I still have like some shine coming through, it's definitely gonna be greasy or oily if you don't have dry skin. But we will see how this lasts throughout the day. We'll do some check-ins. But so far, I don't mind it, especially for a summer foundation. So I will see you guys in. Sorry, we're so close, but I will see you guys in for some check-ins. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, guys, it has been several, several hours. It is now 8 o'clock. Well, 7.48 at night. Um, I believe I put this on at noon. I'm going to come out and say I'm not a big fan. Like, it accentuates anything wrong with your skin every pore every bump every fine line but it just is it does not look good guys it's super greasy like i don't know how anybody unless you have like the driest skin in the world would be able to get away with this because not only do i have dry skin i actually live in a desert so it's like my skin is dry dry and there's no humidity in the air okay now you can like really see how like just greasy I look like just shiny my even my bronzer my blush hasn't stayed on it's like super you can kind of see it's right here it's super patchy and it's a blush and bronzer that I use all the time so I know it's not that literally I can see pores all the way over here which is like abnormal I can see the wrinkles that go across my nose like I don't know what it is about this foundation but I just look like a greasy greasy mess 
And I actually didn't do the yard work. I just went to Home Depot to pick everything up and my husband's doing the yard work. So I haven't even done anything major to like make it this gross. It just is like, I just feel gross. All right guys, so I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm definitely not even gonna keep this. Like it's not worth the high price tag of $39. It's just not good. Like I don't know who could wear this because I have extremely dry skin and live in a dry climate and it just looks like a greasy, oily mess. I don't like it. So I'm definitely not gonna recommend this foundation at all. So thumbs down for that foundation, that kind of sucks. Um, but it is what it is. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've tried this foundation and if you like it. If you tried it and didn't like it, let me know. Um, I will catch you guys in my next video.